College costs anywhere from ten to $30,000 per year in the U.S., but only 7% of students receive scholarships, according to the Education Data Initiative. I remember how the search for scholarships was totally overwhelming and soul-crushing, because not only was it crazy time-consuming, at a time when there was already a lot else on my plate, finishing high school, getting ready for engineering, it also felt completely pointless to write endless essays to compete for generic scholarships against hundreds of thousands of students across the country. Where should engineering students look for scholarships, and how do you get started with them? The first best place to land scholarships is from your university itself. They have millions of dollars to distribute across students they expect to do well. Your high school guidance counselor should be your first stop if you're still in high school because they can submit your name for unlisted university grants. This was how I got my first $2,000 scholarship. Find out about other grants from your university bursar or financial aid office. Second, the engineering department you're going into probably has its own scholarships funded by alumni or companies or both. I received about $10,000 from these scholarships over my undergrad career. Stop by the department chair's office to find out if these awards exist and how to be eligible for them. Third, although national scholarships are highly competitive, there are almost always local ones offered by churches, credit unions, and local businesses that struggle to get applicants because they can't get the word out. These typically range from $500 to $2,000, and your chances of landing them are astronomical compared to random ones you find on the internet. Ask around your community to see who knows about some of these grants. Contact your town or city hall or the local business bureau and ask them. Fourth and finally, engineering societies have their own scholarships, both funded by them and sponsored by companies. So whichever field you picked, look into that society as well as societies like NSBE or SWE and apply for anything you're eligible for. I almost landed a $7,000 scholarship from Shell this way. So my final pro tip is if you do apply, be sure your professors and dean know because sometimes they have some sway with the selection committee, which is a fact that I learned too late. What scholarships have you found so far?